And I want to take it to a next level because of what you're saying about the loops is then the key is to make sure it's not just single loop, that you go to double mm. loop and triple loop. Now, I'll, I'll take a, a very short time to explain that to the audience because that might be a new thing for them. So single loop is very transactional. Yeah. What went well today? What would I do differently next time? It's it's kind of perfecting your craft, if you like. Yeah. Whereas double loop learning is reflecting on your thinking. How did I yeah. think about that? And And it's almost like a critical reasoning around your thinking skills. And, and triple loop is then about identity and how you see yourself in the world. What did I learn about myself? And did my vision of myself change because of the actions of what yeah. happened today? Yeah. Absolutely. So what did I do? How did I how did I do it? So like the metacognition. So what did I do is is here. The metacognition is takes a step back from that. Yeah. And then the triple loop is, and what did I learn about myself or um, who and how I want to be is the, is kind of the 3D. Um, and so, yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, and, and what's lovely about it is that the what you're putting through the learning loop can be something that is quite transactional or it can be that question of, did I move towards or away from who I want to be as a leader today? Um, and, and that can be like, it could be that um, kind of holistic assessment of how did I go today with, showing up in my leadering as I want to. All right, Louis, we danced around something that we didn't have a chance to dig into and I'd like to do it now. Anti-fragility. Yeah. More about anti-fragility. I started looking into this before the pandemic, um, which is kind of ironic. I was doing the research for it um, and I read it in a book by Mark Manson and I'd never come across the idea before. And um, it, Mark, in, in his book about hope, he put forward that in every moment like we have a choice as to whether we move towards anti-fragility or away from it mm. um, and I was like oh what's this so I read Nassim's original work and it's this idea and and it's his work is grounded in in economic systems so when you look at kind of stocks and shares some organizations and some um, companies as as the market goes through tremendous volatility they come out of that tremendous volatility better in some way. Mm. And so they, this idea of anti-fragile, it's not just what's fragile and what's robust. So fragile gets broken, robust withstands, and resilience sits in that spot because you're bouncing back. But actually something that's anti-fragile improves or gets better in some way through that disruption, through that uncertainty. Um, and so as I read that work, I was like, ooh, what could that mean for leaders, for human systems, for teams, for organizations? So in our rapidly changing world, if you only go back to where you, where you were before, but everything else is moving forward or moving in some way, then you'll, you soon become disconnected from, you know, and relevant to what's around you. And so then you go to something like post-traumatic growth, which is, you know, learning and changing fundamentally through something that is traumatic but that at the at the other side of it you have in some way got better or some way evolved improved but that is quite a long and quite a like a deconstructive the idea of trauma and fundamental beliefs and aspects of your identity being shattered and rebuilt in some way and over a period of time they're being able to be seen and a, a, a benefit from that and so Anti-fragility in a, in a human system lens kind of speaks to what I call tiny post-traumatic growth because rather than it being a complete deconstruction and a breaking of identity, it's just, it's just little kind of um, discomforts that you learn forward through and, and the learning loop is a primary tool through which we can do that. But the question that we hold is how can we be better coming out of this than we were coming into it? And as a guiding anti-fragile heuristic, that's the thing that I encourage leaders and teams to use. And we get to define what better is. Better does not equal more. Better does not equal more capacity. It might mean doing less. It might mean um, more space. It might mean slowing down. It might mean a, um, a focus on values. 
it might mean um, actually spending more time getting to know ourselves. Like that might be what better looks like. Um, and so it's a whole of life better, not just a performance in the traditional kind of um, dashboard KPIs sense. Um, and so that's kind of a semi-brief summary of Anti-Fragile. Hey everyone, it's Mick Spears from The Leadership Project, where we empower leaders with the knowledge and skills that they need to create amazing teams and amazing workspaces. If you're enjoying our content, please do remember to hit like, subscribe, and that little notification bell so that you can be notified of all of our future videos. In the meantime, please do take care, look out for each other, and join us on this journey as we learn together and lead together.